We all from time to time go through some challenges that really challenge our faith and challenge our state of mind. And Islam gives us the ability to handle these. So as the scholars talk about these challenging circumstances, they say Al-Amru Amran. The things that we face in this life are two types in terms of hardship. أَمْرٌ لَكَ فِيهِ حِيلَ فَلَا تَعْجَزْ عَنْهُ Something that you have some power over. Something that you can change. Something that you can alter. Something that you can improve. So go about and change it. Go about and do it. Save no efforts to change the situation and make it better. وَأَمْرٌ لَا حِيلَةَ لَكَ فِيهِ فَلَا تَجْزَعْ مِنْهُ And other circumstances that you have no choice about. Circumstances, overwhelming conditions that you can't change, that you can't alter. With these things, all you have to do is not fall in despair. Not fall in some kind of anger against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And these are the ones that I will address today. So when you have some adverse circumstances, what you can do to change them, do that by all means. And don't save any effort. Don't save any knowledge you have. Don't save any advice that you can tap into and you can benefit from to alter the situation. Because that's human nature. And it's completely legitimate to want to change negative circumstances. But when there are things that you can't do anything about, you can't change them, you can't alter them, they're overwhelming, they are beyond your capacity to change. With these things, you have to resort to acceptance. You have to resort to acceptance. And that means you let go. You let go, you have to accept the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there. You stop resisting reality. Most of our pains come from resisting reality. So if there is a condition that you can't change, it's an unpleasant condition, and you can't change it, you can't do anything about it, so it's inevitable to happen. It's beyond your capability to change. How should you deal with it? You should change your mind and your perception about it by accepting it and embracing it and letting go. The pain that we face in such circumstances comes from one thing, is that we expect a different reality. We wish for a different scenario and we hold on to it and we won't let go. And that creates the tension within us and that creates the resistance and that brings about all the pain.